Welcome back to BRX Pro Tips. Lee Cantor, Stone Payton here with you. Lee, you've been doing it for a long time. I've enjoyed studying with you and learning. Please, if you would, share some of your interviewing tips. Well, some of the things that when it comes to interviewing, it, it, practice goes a long way. But some of the things you have to remember when you're doing this is to allow your guests to do 80 to 90% of the talking. Your job is to tee them up for them to look smart. It isn't about you looking smart. Uh, you're going to benefit with the relationship just by having the authority of being the host. So you don't have to work that hard when it comes to being uh, that hilarious or that smart. Your client should be the star. Another thing is don't lean too heavily on the talking points that were submitted. I always tell um, the guests before I'm doing a show is, hey, we're going to use those and I'll try to weave in as many as I can, but we're going to have an authentic conversation. I'm not afraid to let the conversation meander topic to topic because you never know what's going to come up, come up in that conversation. And authentic conversations are are not linear and they could go in all different kinds of directions. But always know that when there's a lull, go back to the topics and then throw another one in. But you should not be afraid to just meander like a normal conversation would. It's more listenable anyway for the listener because they think that they're kind of voyeuristically listening into a person's conversation, which they are. And always make sure you give your guest time to share the ways to get in touch with them, like their website. Don't forget that part because that's in their head. A lot of the time, the, the reason that they're there is because they want to share where the person can get a hold of them. And if you don't give them that chance, they feel like they kind of got cheated. So always give them time to share uh, their website or ways to get in touch with them.